um, the suit tonight. If you want, you could bring it. You could bring the suit. Yeah, fuck it. You can bring the suit tonight. Right, so I got you. I'll bring it tonight. Uh, and I'll hit you. I'll, hit, I'll bring it to your job. So, uh, I'll, I'll get you some wheels because people don't want to get to be at work. Alright, say that. I'll be here anyways on my crib. I'll meet you over there by the, the IHOP. Alright, let me know what's up. I got you. Alright, cuz. Alright, look. Peace. Peace. So, where we at right now? So we're on Aero Street in the north side of Providence, you know. Hillside or, section, right? Hillside section, you know. You know Lorraine, Little Lore. You know we're over here. That's where I was great. You know, born and raised. You spent your whole life here so far. So far, so good. You know. Yeah. So. You know the structure. What's the difference between when you was 14 versus now that you're 24 out here? 14 to 24. Mm -hmm. Those are two big numbers because when I was 14 and not being a king, there was a lot of things going on. There was a lot of kids out here playing manhunt. Right. You know, a lot of kids jumping kids. Yeah. A lot of kids out here selling little dimes and you know, right. little bags, whatever that goes by, you know. Right. There was, I ain't gonna lie, there was a lot of shit going on, like shit that kids shouldn't be seeing, like. Right. You know, girls out there in the streets. Right. Parties happening. Yeah. You know, but coming from 24 now, we're still we're still dealing with like a little street life, like you know, the streets a little active out here. People party, of course. Who's not gonna want to party, you know? Right. We all should live. You know, we're all young still. Right. You should live. Exactly. But what should help the community more is when you come outside, you see the little trash, like, let's, let's, let's right. bring this, like, a little trash like this. It wouldn't be so hard just to, you know, pick it up, part of the community. Right. And if, you know, if That's you funny you brought up, that up because I noticed, you know, some, some streets, you know, you know, care about, you know, where they live at and some don't. To me, this looks like a street that really cares because, you know, Shit, I've seen some filthy ass streets. This is Shoot. damn. This shit is pretty damn clean over here. You see here. my driveway. My yeah. driveway. It's not perfect. Right. This wasn't even perfect. This just got done by my neighbors. Right. People who care just for yeah. the little. Ass because the city is not ever gonna come and do this. But hey. Because and you know what's funny? Not to cut you off. Nine times out of ten, the city's the one that did that because when it snows, the plows. Yup. Right now. That's for a different topic though. But go ahead. But now, like, back on topic, it's just about how you was raised and what you want to raise. Mm hmm You know? How you want to raise your young, yeah. It's all about your kin. It's yeah. about what your future is and what you stand on, especially your people and your family. Right. And now, this is where I grew. This is here, bro. Let's take a walk down. Let's just... Now, uh... Back, back in the day, right? Yep. I want to say, let's let me throw a year out. Let's say, let's say, uh, 20, 20, 2012. How was, how was this area 2012? 2012, I say it was more like live, lit in, more kids on the street, active. But nowadays, it's more occurring to the, the treatment of how much freedom we give our kids now. Right. And, what our kids see now you know there's a lot of so not to cut you off 2012 this street right now is would be full right would be full for why sure. you think it is there's not no kids are playing outside do you think do you blame social media electronics let's, I, let's go. I i blame a lot of things that led to those choices so what we have to stand on and notice why our kids are attending more than what they're unattending right right you know like screen time is a a more of a thing that's commonly used now when it should have never been a thing right. you know a meme's a thing yeah. not screen time you know screen time is preventing preventing from it being just a label you know when it's an actual thing you don't just sure. label something that's screen time for somebody when, you know, it's an actual problem. So basically what you're trying to say is 
the reason why the this street is empty right now what time is it right now it is it's a friday 324 on, on a friday after school so i know when i was growing up in, in the 90s and shit this this was full you know what i mean my streets were full right 2012 right was full so basically what you're saying the reason why that's not is it's because kids rather just be in the house on social media or watching tv or playing video games or on their pc on their tablets they don't want to mingle no more like it's more now it's more on a structure where i'm learning and trying to connect with my own siblings to where it's like they're trying to be on my level at a young age and i get that what you could see is what you want to intake but you got to build that structure to get there and how i came from not being there to actually being where i'm at now right is how i'm seeing my brother react and he's only 14 15 years old oh the one i saw earlier yeah wow okay so it's more of a hand where he thinks he's a man and he's telling me that he'd rather smoke a blunt than rather go spend four to who knows how many hours in dave and buster's just playing eating and enjoying our lives yeah you know so it it's to fair that, to say that you don't your brother definitely doesn't play in outside no more basically right you don't he's too he's too focused on his girl yeah. he's too focused on other things like 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 for other like people so the normal the 14 year olds today are not like the 14 year olds in 2012 nah. or when, especially damn for sure when i was I growing up i could tell you this 14 year olds that's probably living in africa having the fun of their life and not worrying about yeah. what's the what's gonna be the next thing for them yeah yeah they're just being kids All the 14 years over here the majority yeah are trying to be a man before yeah. noticing that they were a child not all of them because you know i have a 14 year old son and he's 14 he moves he and of... thinks and acts like a four it's refreshing because it goes back to what you said it's it's some some 14 year olds are forced to already be men bro I mean, so good smoke. Yeah. Now speaking of that, let's 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 go. Let's keep tea walking. Continue the walk. S speaking of good smoke, Hellboy's taste, man. You know I mean, let's go talk about more about that, man. Your channel, man. Like, basically, you get on there and you test the weed out. And I know for what we was talking off camera. Um, you was gonna start interviewing people, so basically be chopping it up with people and smoking with people, and and, and talking about the bud that and the strain that you're smoking, and then just chopping it up. Period. You know I mean, what what gave you the idea to start that? Start doing that. What gave me the idea of start doing that yeah. was more in hands of where I'm coming and what's around me. There's a lot of environment to where people making like nothing from something you know like right. an idea is an idea but what how far you go for the idea right you right know? are you willing to you know sacrifice you're willing to you know really fight for this and really you know sleepless nights and you know little bit of sleep you re you ready to really go all in for it yeah, I totally agree for that, bro. I you totally really agree. you really got to take it to those standards because what I'm learning now is if I'm Denzel, I'm Denzel, but what makes Denzel and what's Denzel made yeah. is more greater than Denzel. Yeah. So Denzel's pursuit on happiness and his dreams are going to be accomplished because of those may being things. Yeah, yeah. And I learned it's not what advice somebody can give you yeah. to make the next choice on what you do. It's what you take from that advice right. to make that next choice what you do. Right, right, right. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, like, coming from the hood, like, where we're walking now, let's do a 360 panel, you know? Like, I come from nothing. And trying to come from nothing, I'm trying to make something. Right. You know? So that's the best advice that everybody approach on giving me, so I'm gonna approach on giving y'all. Hence why Hellboys was born. Born. <laughs> you know? Uh, do you have the logo? Let's show the logo, man. Do you have anything on you? There's a logo. I know you got the got stickers, you. the packaging, and all that. And like I said, if you guys are looking right now, you see his channel right here. Please go subscribe and hit that bell. 
I'm gonna do you guys one better. I'm gonna show you a big picture of the logo. There we go. That is nice right there. That's hard. That G-Wagon and that logo too. Yeah, there we go. There you go, people. So, Hellboys, man. The merch come in, all that. Now, let people know where they can find you, man. Social medias. You guys can find me on Instagram. You can find me on YouTube. We're going to work on other platforms. Show the, the, show the Q again so people I'm gonna show you guys get the to QR you right now. Again. Scan this Q. That's going to lead us to his channel and everything, right? There we go. Bam. And that's what you got to do. Just okay. show love, and we're definitely showing love back. Yeah. We're not here to suspect to take something from you when we're more of a receiving person. Yeah. A you giving, know? giving you meant, yeah. Receiving, especially giving. Yeah. Because uh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, you know, I know. It's I'm, the butt. It's, <laughs> it's so the butt, fun. like I said. It's the butt again. Hey, he had so, the edibles too. Yeah, so. so. You know, it's just how the day's going. Yeah. We come from nothing trying to make something yeah you know all right man well i appreciate you for blessing my platform man and we're gonna we're gonna uh continue this we're gonna do another one a part two and i want to say top of the year man so a lot of been going on and stuff so i'm looking forward to watching your journey bro and i'm proud of you man keep doing it man keep going man everybody subscribe and hit that bell man it's been another episode of hood vlogs with honor highlighting the grind not the crime powered by smoking politic with me honorably refreshing for the world man providence rhode island edition man just reactions he does hood vlogs but his his hood vlogs right uh his hood vlogs are different he is not a negative type of hood vlog he is not glorifying the gangs he is glorifying the grind, right? Uh, you know, a lot of hood vlogs, they go into your into your business and, you know, uh, into your business. They go into your hood and they're glorifying the gangs, the drugs, the guns. Well, this homie is not one of them. So check him out on Instagram, I'm him, Giovanni. And I'll also post this link for his YouTube. So sponsor of the day is uh, I'm him, Giovanni. Shout out to the homie. Uh, he got... He,